Hey everybody, this is Scott Chicago. We are back at the UH Stan Chef Center for the annual 12th annual FIRST Robotics Re Regional Competition put on every year by the Friends of Hawaii Robotics. And here we have uh, organization president, Lenny Klompfus. Lenny, thank you for being with us today. Pleasure to be with you, Scott, but I must tell you, it's a team effort to put an event like this together. It's a year-long effort led by a regional planning committee, all of volunteers. How many, how many teams do we have uh, today and how many students? Well, we'll have 35 uh, teams in this particular competition, as you mentioned, in our 12th year. And there'll be almost 1,500 students, teachers, mentors, and advisors. Now, what has changed from the first year to, say, this 12th year? I mean, the technology. But look at the backdrop here. Look at the, the, the game screens going on. This is amazing. It's like a giant game room, a game video room or something. You know, so. Well, we're really proud of where we've been able to come in 12 years. And like anything else, it progresses. First, University of Hawaii has been outstanding in providing the Stan Sheriff Center. And kudos to Rich Sheriff and his team that have put all this together. But it couldn't be done without, I mentioned earlier, the volunteers, but the corporate partners. And we have a... A uh, circle of friends, we call them, that provide funding or uh, in-kind support for our, for our students across the state in order for them to build their kit of parts for their robot and then be able to compete. Now, obviously, you need a lot of sponsors to, you know, for these kids to build the robots, travel, everything. Uh, one, of the, one of the sponsors for many of these robotic teams from the Big Island is this 30-meter telescope. But talk a little bit about this sponsors for the event and what it takes, the funding. Yeah. It's it's a lot of money to be able to to put something on its own, but thank goodness for people like Matson. You you've seen the field. It's it's the entire basketball court and there's a lot of mechanism and technical aspects that go into it. Matson picks up this field, as I mentioned, first is in New Hampshire. They pick up that field, they travel it, they take it across the country, they put it on a Matson container, they bring it here and they deliver it to Stamp Sheriff. They do that as a sponsor. Federal Express picks up robots, especially our neighbor island robots. They, they're all crated, they bring them here. So without that muscle movement, of Matson and FedEx, we don't have a competition. So let's talk about, um, obviously building the robots is what you entice the kids to get involved in these programs. Right. That's, what, that's what attracts them, but what is the long-term goal is obviously of this robotics program? It, it, it really is about the, the kids having, learning real world life skills and working as a team through better communication to do that. Everyone looks at this robotics and says, yeah, it's engineering and you're building a robot. If you go into a classroom and you see what they're doing, they're communicating better than they ever have before, they're working as a team than they have before, and then they have this opportunity after their secondary education, which I must tell you, we have almost 85% of our high school students going secondary education now, go into the business world, medical field, and yes, science and tech technology. Okay. So, t Scott, we're building a better workforce for the state of Hawaii. You know, it's kind of amazing. You're walking around during the competition and to see the intensity of the teams, you know, trying to get these robots together before they go onto the, you know, the playing field. Yeah, you're absolutely right about all these qualities. Yeah. So. And, and what we've heard from, from corporate partners, and you may have heard it today from a couple, we're looking for students like you. You don't have to be the guy or the young lady who's screwing in that nut or bolt or making that robot run. If you can communicate well and you can deal with people, we can teach you anything. So we're, our students have a bright career. That's amazing. And you and I are back in school. I think metal shop and wood shop was what we did. And these kids are building robots at elementary school age. But anyway, thank you very much for taking the time. It's our honor. And congratulations to the students uh, the, and the parents who put in an inordinate amount of time and uh, the teachers as well who have this after school. So thanks for the opportunity to visit and hope everyone will support robotics. Thank you. If you want to learn more about the TMT project, you can go to our website at www.tmt.org. And until next time, aloha.